This review is going to be on how to sharpen all kinds of knives, such as small folders, such as this Winchester pocket knife, to a medium sized camp knife, like my Habilis bush tool. to supersized knives such as my sword bowie monster bowie knife so let's get started and what you're going to need is First off, a good stone. One I like is the 750 grit stones by Smith. These can be found at pretty much any kind of Walmart, Home Depot, etc. And they're like $20, I want to say, $15, $20. Next thing you're going to need is some kind of ceramic stone. This is just one I grabbed out of a box that was in a local yard sale. And it's done an extremely good job. Lastly, this drop. This is just my one of my um, spare utility belts that I repurposed from an old leather belt. It works just as fine. So let's get started on the small one. I'm getting it out of here. Now what I normally do with the smaller ones is my stone down. I'll take them and I'll put them at say a 15 degree angle. I'll bring them across like so. Put it back at another 15 and I'm using my thumb as a measurement. Bring it across. Now the way I like to do it is Center of the thumb is usually about 15 degrees. Top of the thumb is closer to 25 and 30. At the bottom of the thumb, you're pretty much just scraping the knife against the stone, which is not good for it. So, center of the thumb is probably the sweet spot I find with most pocket knives. As you can see, the markings on the blade are already starting to come off. That's another good way you can tell if you're doing it right, is to put some kind of mark on your blade and the stone will just take that right off. Then you'll know you're doing exactly what needs to be done and you'll be able to do it without having to put the mark on there practically on command. Step up from that, let's go to our medium sized knife, the bush tool. Scandy grind or pseudo scandy. Now, what I like to do is thumb on the inside again at a 15, more of a 20 degree angle, so it's three quarters of the way up the thumb. Bring it across. And notice that this is wider than the pocket knife, so what you're having to do is, is pull it towards you, like so. Across the stone, and that gets good results for me 
you might want to do it like this just go straight forward again straight forward marking where you stopped but I find that usually takes double the amount of time and it's faster to just push it across push pull push pull and you get the whole blade Now for something a little different. Moving on to the big boy. The monster sword. That mean convex grind and convex edge. What I like to do is pick up the stone, put the knife on my lap to where I can eyeball it dead center as close as possible. What I'll do is using my thumb on the edge of the stone like such center of the thumb I'll back it up to the farthest corner and I will try to get this in view run it down the blade like such on both sides using my thumb as a measurement I'll run that down the whole blade. Again, use, utilizing that push pull movement. Since this is too big for that, you're going to have to also utilize the marking where you left off point to get a good consistent sharpening edge. Now for the next step, the ceramic stone. Taking our pocket knife, same thing with the sharpening. Find your angle, Bring it on down, being very careful in the process. Just bring it on down, enough so that you see a teeny bit of powder, but it doesn't full-on bite into the blade. I don't know if you can see that, but they're starting to just get a little bit of powder on the edge. It's one of my smaller stones, so I'm going to have to do the mark method. You can see there's a little bit of powder on there. And I will do that until I'm satisfied with it. And I just drop my stone. Put that away. And then on to the... There you are. Bush tool. Same method. Find your edge, use your finger for guidance if need be, and just bring that across. Just keep doing it. Oop, bit a little bit. I redo that. Until everything is nice and even. Doing it on both sides. You do it on one side, you're just going to roll your edge. Like so. Keep doing that back and forth across there. Now, again, for the big boy. This one, if you have a knife that's over 11 inches, it's going to take some time. So just be patient, again, push-pull movement, 
across the blade. And again, you're pulling the blade, you're not pulling the stone. The stone stays straight, the blade is what moves. Do that all the way to the tip, and then back again, being very careful with your fingers. Wind's picking up a little bit. Now, on to the last step, which is stropping. Take your belt, I'm doing something knocking over my camera, and make that thing as tight as you can. What it does is what you see those barbers do at with a straight razor. They're stropping that edge off, the burr that the sharpening stone created. What you do is you don't bring it against it like you do with the stones. You bring it up And you're moving with the edge, not against it. By doing that, you're taking that burr right off for a razor honed edge. Now with the bush tool. It's taking the burr off. Now with the sword Bowie, Just working that edge back and forth until you get it just where you want it to be. And that is how I sharpen my knives in the field, working from stone to ceramic to strop. And these are all items that I carry in my bag every time I go out in the woods. So. If you have any questions, feel, blah, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And like, subscribe, and I'll be back with another video when I can get to it. Thanks.